So here we have a new 2023 GMC Sierra 1500. And this one comes in the work truck version. So it's called the Pro trim level. And this comes in the Pacific Blue Metallic Paint on jet black vinyl interior. And our powertrain consists of a 2.7 liter high output turbocharged four cylinder engine made it to an eight speed automatic transmission. So as we come around to the front end here, we do get our standard LED daytime running lights along with our standard LED headlamps, which I like that as opposed to the custom and even the work truck version of the Silverados. Getting the LEDs is really nice. And then down here we have 17 inch aluminum wheels. And here we have the controls for the power door locks, power mirrors, and then we do get one touch up and down for the driver's side, and then we just have one touch down for every other window, and then you have to manually roll it up. And here we have our headlamp controls, four-wheel drive controls, electronic parking brake, and there is our driver's seat. And then while I'm up here, I'm just going to show the middle seat. So you can get seating for up to six. And then that turns into a center console tray there. And before I check out the leg space in the rear, let's just go ahead and take a look at this window sticker. It's kind of hard to see because of the glare, but most importantly, I'm going to go over the options on here. The Pro Value Package, which I think is a must because you get so much with it, the cruise control, the tin on the back, the easy lift, tailgate, and then the tow package as well. And then this one has a spray on bed liner, a locking differential. And it comes to right under $50,000, which really isn't a bad price for a truck these days. And I actually like the vinyl better than the cloth interior. It's just easier to clean and it looks like leather. But of course, with this being a full size truck, plenty of leg room back here, plenty of headroom as well. And then our rear passengers do get AC vents, which is all controlled from the AC up there, which I'll take a look at later. Interesting, no seat back pockets, but plenty of other uh, storage that you can choose from. And you have your hangers there. I do like that we get the premium dome lights here, not the yellow, nice and bright white. And we can actually fold this up just by pulling on the seat. And then it just takes a little force to fold it up and down. As we come around to the back end here, we just have the regular bulbs here, the incandescent, we don't have any LEDs. And there's that spray in bed liner, which if you care about your truck and it's brand new, I definitely recommend getting one because I hate scratches in my bed. Now the truck I have now is old. So I don't really care that much, but that still has a bed mat in it. And I bought it with like 200,000 miles on it. But there's our passenger side seat there. I will say, even though this is the pro version, you do get plenty of storage. You do have the two glove boxes, which I'll show you in a moment. Tons of storage in the door panels. And that center console space is pretty decent as well. And like I said, just the space underneath the rear seat. You can still work pretty hard out of this thing. And I do want to admire this grill really quickly. I love the mirror finish here. And even though this is 
kind of a black plastic feel still looks really good and when you get up on it, it doesn't look as cheap and you can tell the difference between right here and right there but a really good look for a work truck and there's that 2.7 liter turbocharged four-cylinder and say what you will about that if you do a lot of hauling and you can still tow a bit with this really really capable engine now in terms of longevity they haven't been out that long but and then here we have a nice vinyl wrap steering wheel but over here to the radio I think this is the seven inch we do get AM FM and Bluetooth audio along with wired Apple CarPlay and wired Android Auto and then we can do a trailer light test. Here are our settings here, excuse me. And I love that you still get a lot of the safety features, even on this Pro. So you get the lane keep assist, with the uh, lane departure, the forward collision alert, really nice. Now for fan speed, you can adjust that here. And I love that they put that there to actually turn the fan off and we can adjust temperature here and then typical buttons there auto stop we can toggle here tailgate we can fold down from up front hazards traction control trailer brake control which is always nice to have and then a USB-C USB-A input along with the 12 volt so what I like about this center console space here is we have storage here two pretty good sized cup holders there if you want to stack up a few quarters or something you can put that here but then you also have pretty good size in the tray itself and then like I said you can always fold it up for a six seat there's a view of the back from up here and I love that we still get the premium lights in the front as well now there's our top glove compartment, which you can put smaller items or papers up there. And then we have a lockable bottom, which is a decent size. Owner's manual's in there. Now to the shifter, we have a column shifter, so I can just hit the brake and then pull down, reverse, neutral, drive. And then we have our low gear. And the low gear, I can actually manually shift. And it'll show you in the bottom right corner that uh, gauge cluster right there in the middle as I'm shifting and then to the left side of the steering wheel we have our cruise controls you can toggle it there cancel there and then set and resume there and then there's the gap adjust for the forward collision alert and for the gauge cluster that middle part we can just turn this dial and we have our options there so we do have our tire pressure sensors there oil life brake pad life following distance, transmission, temperature, etc. And then for our windshield wipers, adjust that there. And then we have our fluid there, our automatic high beams here, and then blinkers there. And then there's our push button start. And then, where'd that key fob go? I threw it in the back. Here it is. And there's a key fob there. But next is time we go ahead and take this 2023 GMC Sierra 1500 Pro out on the road for a quick test drive. I think I made a word up easy earlier and said longevity i meant to say longevity i don't know where i got that word but when it comes to this engine that's really my only concern is just the longevity of this turbocharged four cylinder because everything else which i'll show you here on the test drive i've driven these several times and it just it's my favorite engine to drive other than the 6.2 just because of the turbo.
Now it's not as fast, but I just like the boost you get from this huge truck. Feels like you're driving like a built pickup or something. But also 18 miles per gallon in the city is, especially with this four wheel drive model, something to consider. Let's give it some throttle here. Now this is not as fast as the 5.3 liter V8, but the turbo boost definitely makes you feel like you're as fast. And then having the eight speed as well, less gears you have to worry about changing to find that sweet spot for acceleration. And of course, ride comfort is pretty similar to every other Sierra or Silverado on 17, 18 inch wheels. Really good ride, really easy to control. But the best thing about this truck is going to be the everyday usability of it. Because most people don't haul stuff in their trucks all day, every day, unless they use them specifically for work. So when you're commuting, just so you can pick something up from the store every couple of weeks, you're really not getting your money's worth. And the fact that this can haul enough, as opposed to maybe getting a V8, because people always get more than, with trucks in particular, they always want to have more than what they think they'll need. And I mean, you get the same capability in terms of the room in this truck. Acceleration is good enough compared to having a gas guzzling V8. And it's still as fun to drive, in my opinion. But as I said before, I really like that GM has finally thrown some standard safety features on its vehicles, having the lane keep assist and then the four collision alert and then the automatic high beam is a big plus because when you're in the market, you shouldn't have to compare yourself to the Tundra and Tacoma and be like, wow, they have all this extra stuff that we don't have because General Motors tends to be a bit pricier than other brands when it comes to its vehicles. And I'm glad they're finally starting to make it worth it. Of course, your Escalades and Hummers and all that have always had their own special place, specifically the Corvette. There's really not anything that touches that in terms of if you're in the market for a Corvette, you want a Corvette. But you can choose between the F-150, the Tundra, And you have several other options, Ram. It's nice that this has standard safety features to at least keep up with the competition. And I think the 2.7 liter was a really bold move by GM because a lot of people in my comments and just word of mouth have complained like, oh, I don't want a four cylinder engine in a truck. Well, I mean, this does the job. It really does. Obviously it's not gonna have the same capability as a V8, but do you actually need all that? And if you do, then get the V8. But I would say, I don't even wanna say a majority. I would say there's a big chunk of truck owners who just want a truck and the two seven turbo will be enough motor form and there have been a lot that have been sold so but with all that being said really good option here especially for the price and this will bring me to the end of my review of the 2023 
GMC Sierra 1500 Pro.